Hi guys, uh, Patrick here with uh, goldkilns.us. Thought I'd give you a little preview of what's coming down the line here. Uh, today we've got my uh, prototype model of the KK6. KK6 is in between of the KK8 and the little quick kiln. Uh, KK6 here is powered by a couple of TS4000 Burnsomatic torches and uh, hold a little clay graphite crucible here that will hold approximately a kilo of silver at a time. Um, today we're going to fire it up here and we'll take four of these little three ounce bars, little copper bars that I poured with the, with the quick kiln and we'll turn them into a one troy pound copper bar. Uh, this is my prototype model here. I've been torturing the heck out of it. But I thought I'd give you a little preview here and we'll show you how it works. Uh, the TS400 torch is an automatic lighter that only works part of the time. And so what we'll do is the the little uh, KK6 comes apart in three pieces like the KK8. Makes it very convenient for reaching in and getting your crucible out. And at any rate, let's light this torch over here first. Turn it on. And we'll put it in like so. Get the other torch going. Since we already got a flame, I'll just turn it on and then lock it. Okay, our kiln's lit. I'm going to put it together here. Put the body and the lid on. And I'm going to let it warm up. Take my little clay graphite crucible here and we'll put these little three ounce bars in there, we'll dump four of them in there. It would be 12 ounces or a troy pound. I'm going to set that there. I'm going to put about, a, uh, about an ounce and a half of white flux in it. Pretty close. Now while that's warming up, I'm going to pick my little crucible up. Like the way that bar is sitting there. I'm going to pick my little crucible up and set it up here on top and let it warm up a little bit as the kiln's warming up. Once the kiln gets warmed up, we'll put it inside, let it cook. Once it's melted, then we'll come out here and we'll pour it in this mold. So, while it's warming up here, I'll uh, go ahead and shut this thing off and then I'll get back to you in just a second. And we'll charge the kiln. Hang on. Okay guys, I'm back. Looks like the kiln warmed up pretty good. About five minutes, ten minutes, I guess, maybe at the most. Doesn't take very long for it to warm up. So, a pair of gloves on here. Pick this little crystal up. Oh, 
crystal in. Make sure it's centered as fast as we can get. And we'll put the bobbing lid back on the kiln. Sweet. That's what's really nice about that section of kiln is it's so easy to put stuff in and get stuff out of. Anyhow, we're going to let that warm up and melt. We'll pull her apart and pour that bar out of there. Um, probably take 15 minutes, maybe a little more than that. So I'll go ahead and shut this off and then I'll get back to you. Hang on. Hi guys, I'm back. Um, like always, uh, I got my mold sitting up on top to kiln, letting it get hot. I always like to pour into a hot mold. And it's cold out here. I'm out in the garage and got the door open a little bit. It gets kind of smelly. Anyhow, let's see if we can pour it. I switch gloves, this gets a little bit hot. First, let's, get, let's see if we can get our mold over here. And we'll put a mold there. Okay. Now we'll separate the kiln. icing up a little bit because it's so cold. So I'm just going to go ahead and shut them off. I always like to restack my kiln and let it cool off slowly. And we'll go ahead and pull these torches away. The body out here is pretty iced up. So much propane flowing through there. Plus it's cold out too. And we'll pull this one out too. Okay. Bar's cooling off pretty fast as you can see. So we'll uh, we'll let that cool down a little bit it's plenty hot and once it cools down I'll chip flux off it and we'll take a look and see what we got. I'll get back to you. Hi guys, I'm back. Um, probably plenty hot yet. Only been about 10 minutes which is probably not enough time. Uh, in the meantime, let me give you a little size comparison. This right here is the clay graphite crucible that we just used in the KK6. And this little guy right here is the crucible that goes in the small quick kiln. So you can see that this crucible is quite a bit larger. And anyhow, let me get my crescent hammer. Wow, that crucible is still hot. This is going to be really hot pop right out of there. Take this out. Catch this flux. Oh, look at that. Yeah, come on, nice. So, That'd be a Troy Pound, 12, 
cry ounces. Always work with copper whenever I'm developing one of these because copper melts at a lot higher temperature than either gold or silver. So, there it is, a little preview, prototype, KK6. Hope to have it out pretty quick. In the meantime, Merry Christmas to all, and have a Happy New Year. Thanks for watching.